no need to fight tonight, tonight. <laughs> here at the body shop in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Hope everybody's doing well. If you're watching this video, you want to learn how to do the eyebrow piercing. Very simple piercing. All right, so first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go over the tools that's needed. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do the marking, do the piercing, then go over the aftercare. Uh, so the tools that you're going to need, you're going to need a set of forceps. You're going to need a set of open clamps. And you want to get yourself 16 gauge, 5 16 curved barbell or bent barbell. We'll go ahead and get that ready. And as always, one of the most important tools in body piercing, the three millimeter and four millimeter ball holder. All right, this will make your job a lot easier. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, um, the link is in my bio on Instagram at underscore Sean Pierce. All right, next thing we're gonna do, swap the eyebrow. Now, when you do an eyebrow piercing, you do not want to go too far to the edge. If you go too far to the edge, chances are it's going to reject. Good rule of thumb is right where the end of their eye is, is kind of where you want to go. You can still go over a little bit more, but you really don't want to go past this part. So from here to here, you don't want to do. It's going to wind up rejecting, I promise you. Let's go ahead and we're going to make our mark. Chin up a little bit. Now you want to make sure that their eyebrow line is dead smack in the middle of the two marks that you make. And make sure your customer has the last say. Good. All right. Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and switch out our gloves real quick and get this piercing done. Piercing is very simple, okay? You also want to make sure, I forgot to tell you, make sure you have a cork. This way, prevent any uh, body from getting poked, poking yourself, or anything like that. You gotta make sure you keep it safe. Alright? Water based petroleum jelly. I like to add a little bit of that just to help the needle slide through nice and easy. Touch it a little bit. Always make sure that those marks are right in the middle of that clamp. I would prefer to go from the bottom up so you keep the point of the needle away from the eyeball. Big breath in and nice big breath out. As soon as you're done, stretch the skin so it's just where it's supposed to. Now you got yourself a nice little eyebrow piercing. As far as aftercare, guys, I highly, highly recommend Extrusion. This is by far the best piercing aftercare there is. Healing time, um, efficiency, get yourself Extrusion. Tell your clients to get Extrusion. You'll see a tremendous difference between any other piercing aftercare there is. Okay, you're going to spray it three times a day. Make sure you wash it. You could also wash it with H2 Ocean's uh, antibacterial foam soap. Okay, this is the best combination for aftercare for a nice, healthy piercing. If you guys have any questions, any concerns at all, as always, I respond to all my uh, followers and subscribers. You reach me at underscore Sean Pierce. Until next time, take care. Angel. Had to change the scene cause my life just like move Bitch, in the streets turn to a fighter, how can you? Bitch, jealous hating on me if you knew me I was just trying to touch paper like it's loose Sleep but fuck that loop, sleep I want them blue Things, bad little shorty, she got moved Swings, and I can never tell so I bought a move Ring, I skate off 
in that Tesla, that's my new thing. I'm with your boo, yeah, she my new fling, and I can never love her, not a group. No, yeah, I'm all about the butter and the blue. Money, yeah, try to go against me, I'ma shoot, sweet.